Hello and welcome back to 2048. Let's see how fast we can do this. Okay, speedrun time, even though it's not a time for speedrun. What is that I hear? Is that more leaf cutting or blowing or whatever it is you're doing? No, oh, stop it, please. Ah. So, what you can see here, if you're an observant one, is the line just failed. Uh, also, what you may be able to see if you're observant, is the line just failed again. Uh, also, what you can see if you're observant, is that the ratio between this and this has improved greatly over the course of this episode. And as a result, even though this is 128, and that, uh, even with 256 here was a, and even though that uh, 256 there was a problem, so, yeah, this is probably still problematic, but it may not be... Okay, it's getting more problematic, um, but I'm sure we'll be fine. God, man, can I sound any less in uncertain? Less certain. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, that's just hilarious. No, I'm sure we'll be fine, failed! Yes. Ah... <clears throat> uh. Does anyone else sense that I'm getting slightly bored here? Is this me? Really? This can't just be me. I'm surely, surely everyone else understands. I'm extraordinarily bored here. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Ahem. All right. So, man, my beard hurts. I don't even have a beard. I usually shave that thing. And yet, here I am, growing a beard. Ugh. Oh, I'm usually so clean shaven. What's wrong with me? I'm not being clean shaven now. Ah. Oops, I didn't mean to put that there. Whoops. It's this, it's this lust for haste. Haste makes waste, as they say. Duh. That, there was no way to make that rhyme. That was fail, fail. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, please. Shut up, please. Oh, please. Please, please. Please, please, please. Ah. Oh, we got an excellent ratio now. We've had good luck. Terrible. Terribly terrifying skill. Oh, it's terrifyingly bad. Oh, and now look what we've got. In order to clear the air, clear the field, we've got ourselves a prime, 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 not, not very prime at all, look at a, uh, a bad digit ratio. Now we've got a 128, not night. We need, to, we need to try this again. We almost made it. Our digit ratio is perfect. We almost... Yeah, digit ratio, of course, is not related. Digit ratio... Okay, there is actually such a thing as digit ratio. It's not just a word I made up. However, I made up the meaning of the word to fit whatever the heck I'm talking about at the moment. I don't even know. Digit ratio is, in fact, the ratio between your digits... Wow, that was real descriptive. Hmm, well, I'm sure I like... OMG, really? Yes. Really. Oh, dear. Oh, man, I don't even know what I'm doing. Keep both. Okay, good. It's saved. It's slow state, but it's gotten a little faster. Um, a digit ratio is... Uh, quite simply stated, uh, well, at least about as simply as I can state anything, because as I would say, I'm going to simply state something, I go off about how it's going to not really be simply stated, because I'm me, and I, me, and I, are going to always mess it up, like, like how I'm doing right now. And we're going to talk about that for a little bit more, because that's me, that's my rambling style. You actually want to get educated? Uh, dude. Dude, I, I admire that you're looking for YouTube videos for education. You definitely need it if you are stupid enough to check out the um, the section on 
comedy or gaming, as it were. Mm-hmm. Gaming. <laughs> this, is this gaming? Is this really gaming? It's not comedy because it's not funny. Should it be entertainment then? It's not entertaining, but well, why would you watch then? I'm sure everyone's like that. Oh, why would you watch? Well, why are you watching? Why don't you post a comment? I don't know why you're watching. You are watching. Oh, good for you. I don't know why. Right, but did this ratio... Okay, so look at your fingers. Okay, now look at them with a scientific perspective. Take your scientist goggles. Put them on. Look like, like an idiot wearing goggles. That look... Um, wearing scientist goggles. Look like that guy. Now, tell me. What do you see in your scientist goggles? What uh, secrets do they reveal to you? How are you seeing with your scientist goggles? What exact? I'm I'm repeating myself. How exactly is um? How exactly is um? Right. Um. Sorry. Just one moment. I need to. Or re recomb my brain or something. I, I don't know. I need to think about what. It's not recomb. It's, it's something else. But I, I, I'm having trouble. Uh, it's all in the technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. Still technical. Yes. Uh, okay. So your brain. Our brains. Brains. <laughs> By the way, the state most likely to survive his zombie apocalypse is Alaska. The state most unlikely to survive is New Jersey. That's according to Stately and according to the Wall Street Journal, as they quoted the article from Stately. Also, um... Zombies aren't real. They aren't really real, but they sure are awesome, aren't they? Anyway, um... This digit oh, sorry. Wow. That, look at that. I was right on cue. No moves lost. Except, except that one. one. One move lost. Okay, did your issue. So, so look at your fingers. No, right, well, you take out your ring finger, okay? Has it got a ring on it? Ooh, it doesn't. Ooh. Ooh, burn. Sorry. <clears throat> if you look at your ring finger, you will have noticed that it is slightly longer than your pinky. If not, you are mute horrifyingly mutated, and you will be found, you will be um, discriminated against, you are going to be looked upon as a blight on society, if X-Men told me anything. And it did. It told me that that, that. It, it told me that. <clears throat> anyway, you uh, have got a very rare case called being muted. That that's not something that happens. Pink pink is a lot shorter. All right, it's a lot well not a lot shorter. It's about what is it? About probably, probably less than an inch shorter. It's probably anywhere from an inch to half an inch in length shorter. Then your ring finger. Your ring finger is pretty big. Okay. Now, you obviously your middle finger is going to be the longest. Now, if that's not the case, once again we've got a horrible case of mutation. You will be dis you'll be found. You'll be discriminated against. You will be um <clears throat> right onward. Uh, so being a uh, mutant, what is it like? <laughs> I see what you're doing. You want people to think you're not a mutant. So you're asking the mutants what it's like to be a mutant. <laughs> you didn't fool me. Ooh <sighs> Anyway, um... So... Basically, the digit ratio is quite specifically... The difference in length between your index finger and your ring finger. Now with me, um, depending on how I hold my hand, they are the same. Or, or the ring finger may be slightly longer. Or if I really want to twist my hand out of shape, I can make my pinky 
appear longer than my index finger, and my ring finger can be way longer than my middle finger. Yes, I've got some interesting abilities. Uh, I would say probably generally my digit ratio is a little bit greater than one of the ring finger to the index finger. Uh, and the digit ratio is, is, has some effects, like uh, if you've got a higher digit ratio, you like are more likely to like apples than oranges or something. It's just a little bit more, a little bit more scientific than that. That's just a random guess. That's not even based on specific like data. I'm just giving you an example because I don't remember anything. I could give you, I could tell you something I remember, but it wouldn't be accurate. I could tell you something else I remember, but it would not be remembered correctly. There's a 50% chance. Anyway, let's go and wrap this because it's either high digit ratio or low digit ratio, and I can't remember if the things I remember are as high digit ratio or low digit ratio. I don't. Ah. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.